Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Joy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix. Wing Dictus defying fate is having crashing issue. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FAS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this, we just need to go over here in the start icon, go over here in this particular icon and go for the restart. Once the restart is successfully done, just try launch the game and that will be working fine. And this is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try following these steps. And the second step is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So I'll be showing you a shortcut where you have you can navigate to the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go over here in the install it file and just click on the browse. That will take you to this. If you check over here at the top, that is this PC, Locklist C, Program File X86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Windictus. So this is the folder. So just go over here. Now from here, try launch the game. So instead of launch the game from the Steam, we can try launch the game from the installation folder, which helped many users you can try this out. Apart from this, hence within the installation folder, you can try two more steps and one among them is all about, we have to run the game as an administrator. Just go over here in the application, right click, go to the show more options and go to the properties. Go over here in the compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK. Once it is also done, just click on run the program, run this program in the compatibility mode. You can also set this to Windows 7 and go for apply or you can set this to Windows 8 and go for apply as well. So once you're done with this one, just close this over here and still if you're having the trouble, you can try moving to the third step. Third step is all about launch the game and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is related, but even it worked for many users in my knowledge and it helped them. So we can try this out. Just hit on the play button and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. And after trying with this, if the issue is still there, we can try moving to the next one. That is all about we have to set the date, time and region is correct, which is very important. So just go over here. Go over here in the settings. Now from here, navigate to the time and language. Go for the date and time. Make sure time zone automatically and time automatically and all these three things should be turned on. Now just go back, go to the language and region. Now from here, make sure the uh, geography. I mean, you have to select the country according to your geography. If you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom. In the same way, we have to do this. Once everything has been set up, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file. So it is quite important that we have to just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here go to this PC. Now go to the documents and over here if you find the folder for the game, just delete the folder for the game. And you have to keep in mind when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though it is fine, you have to do this. Once afterwards, just close everything and go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the game, search for control panel. Now go over here in the game, just go over here in the system and security. Go for Windows Defender file, uh, just go over security and maintenance. Now over here, sorry, just click on the Windows Defender firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to alphabet hence the reason starting with v just keep scrolling down and navigate to v letter so you'll be able to find over here vindictus defying the fate playtest it is actually in the demo it is already there so just make sure both the private and both the public both has to be marked and once it has been done we just need to move to the next one just click on the change setting just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse navigate to this pc go to local to see go to the program file x86 Go for Steam, navigate to Steam Amps, go to the common and also in the same way you'll be able to find it over here. Navigate to the folder, 
uh, Vindictus just open this one and we have to open and add it I'm getting the error because it's already added so if that is not the case just add the game once afterwards just go back and try launch the game that is what we have to do still if you're having the trouble we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to unplug all the USB devices so we might be connected with a lot of devices so sometimes you know this even goes the issue up so what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices so in order to do this what we need to do is just unplug all the USB devices which means in the sense external devices afterwards just launch the game and once you're in the game just connect it back and try continue playing the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about we have to uh, perform a clean boot so just go over here just go over here in the search and search for system configuration search for the system configuration and click on this one now from here go to the services go for hide all my just go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they're gonna ask you for restart so uh, here in the middle of shooting so i'm gonna skip this part but the users who are watching this go for the restart after the restart just go back to the game try playing the game and you can see the differences moving to the next one is all about nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go over here in the install it file and not over here just go to the uh, make sure this is if this is turned on we have to turn this off try launch the game and also you can give very important step that is given the commands of the launch option so the first command is dx11 start with dx11 if dx11 is not working start with dx12 so either the dx11 will be working or we have to start with dx12 any one of the things will be working fine and that is what we have to do once you're done with this one just close everything and we have to try launch the game and you have to see still if you're having the trouble let's move to the next one that is we have to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the game right click and go to the task manager now from here as you can see if there are a lot of things running in the background we have to remove the unwanted things so whenever you are launching these kind of games simultaneously these things are running in the background that is why we are having the crash issue so just unplug everything i mean remove and everything from here once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launching the game still it's not working let's move to the 10th step that is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search search for graphics settings just click on the graphics settings now from here we have to as you can see that i have already added many games in the same way we have to add the game just click on the browse now just navigate to this pc go to local disc go to the program for x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now we have to navigate to Victus folder. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to Vindictus. Open this and add it. Once it's added, once the Vindictus is already added, what we need to do is we just need to make a few change over there. So what is the change that I'll be showing you right now? So keep scrolling down to the game. Where is the game? So it's already added, that's why it's saying. So I'll do one thing, get into the game 64. Let me add this. Okay, the game is added. So just click on the option and first let Windows decide, change this to high performance and go for save. So once afterwards, just close everything, go back and try launch the game. And most probably this issue might be fixing the issue up. Still, if you're having the trouble, next one we have to try increasing the virtual memory just go over here search for view advanced system setting so just go over here click on this one now from here go to the advanced go for settings go to the advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disc go for the initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so just go over here search for the calculator so type your ram that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 copy this and we have to paste it next one is maximum size 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and just go for okay once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game 
After trying with this, if the issue is still there, you have to update the Windows or cross check whether it is up to date. Go to the settings, go to the Windows update. Make sure the Windows is up to date or else we have to update the Windows. Still, if you are having the trouble, you need to update the graphics card as well. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA official as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here select everything like the product type should be selected product series should be selected product should be selected based on the operating system we have to select this and go for everything and go for start search if the system is based on a uh, driver version if it is the mine is 551.76 which is the latest version which is released on march 5th 2024 so download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select everything like graphics, AMD, Radeon should be selected, everything should be selected and go for a submit. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one and install restart as a mandatory and try launching the game. And also you can try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ over here. If the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one. Install. After trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try uninstall and reinstall the game. Just go over here and to manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you have to do the same. And keep in mind, you should not be installing it back on the same local disk. You have to try a new local disk. Still, if you are having the trouble by this, try verify integrity of game file just go over in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file and once afterwards still if you are having the trouble make sure that you know all these kind of issues can also be one of the reason why the integrity of game file is not there so you will be having these pop-up issue so just verify integrity of game file afterwards what you need to do is just do everything like this that afterwards once it reach 100 percentage most probably this will be completely fixed so we just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you what you have to do next so once as you can see you got a message which state that all the files are successfully validated and once afterwards what you need to do is you just need to close everything over here and try launch the game and that will be working fine so these possible workarounds can be done and we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye